This video is about getting a better understanding of the different views available in Smartsheet, card view and grid view. This is in card view. In card view, you can see the four columns that we use to track the progress of tasks through a sprint. You will see there's these little comment boxes. Whenever there's one of those, that means there's an additional comment there. Let's have a look at what it says here. It says, it talks about this particular sprint meeting being delayed because some of us were in the field. Sometimes you will see a list of boxes. These are, these are subtasks. So if you click on this down arrow, you'll see there's more information here. There are subtasks associated with this one. And sometimes you'll see these little figure people. These is, is sort of showing how many of the countries have completed that particular task. If you double click, if you double click on one of these, you can get more details and you can change this. So you can see the sprint, what date something starts and finishes, etc., etc. Using this card view settings, you can actually change which particular fields are shown in the card view. On the left hand side, you have this card view, and there's a thing called the grid view. The grid view has got a lot more details in it. The grid view basically shows all the data about each card. Sometimes it's easier to do things in the grid view. One of the useful things to do in the grid view, for example, is to sort things. So here you can, but to, to, before you can sort, you must be not on, not, you must not be using the filter. So I'm going to make the, the screen show the full screen so you can see the filter bar here. It's on current and future sprints. If I put no filter, then you can change the sorts. So I could sort the rows. By sprint, that makes sense, but then I might want to sort them by finish date or something like that. And then the order will slightly change. I find it useful to mark off the different sprints with a line reflecting the, the review and planning meetings. It's possible to edit dates, etc., in here, and it works just like a normal Excel spreadsheet. So you can click on one date and you can control C and you can paste it to a whole set of other dates. Cut, you can cut and paste the dates. So, and the same goes for finish dates, etc. You'll notice here it says incomplete progress, etc. So I find this sheet useful for getting the detail right. You can assign people here, etc. But then when I normally just checking on progress, I find it easiest to just look at the, the card view. The card view is kind of the friendly view. If you if you hike the bar on the left of goes missing, you hit these arrows and you can bring it you can bring it back. So that's how you use card view. Card view is the normal way I look at things and you move cards around as normal, move things to the higher priority to the top. You can change the colors. I like to change the colors to remind me of tasks that have gone beyond their original sprint and they're now a few sprints overdue. It reminds me that this one has taken longer than we expected. But when you need to edit all the details, it's often easier to go back to grid view and to enter the exact numbers, assign the sprint numbers, etc. One thing I didn't show you just now is that some of these tasks have a plus next to them. If you open it up, you'll see that's because there's subtasks within them. This corresponds in the card view. One of the bars I didn't show you up here is the level one. Level one shows like the main tasks. If you choose all levels, then all the subtasks will also pop out. I'll just go back again and you can see what happens. This Sampling design for the survey in each country has three subtasks, right? So we can see the subtasks as a list within that card, or we can choose here to show all, all levels, and then each of the subtasks will then it itself be expanded, and they can be moved around and complete just like separately than their their master card. Okay, I'm going to go back. I like to use the level one card to, to get the big picture first. You can also view by other things. You can view by sprint, for example. You can view by progress and so on. The most common one, though, is to view by status. That's the CAN board style. It's also possible to show things in a kind of small format or in a big or or in a big in a, in a kind of tight format like this, where you can just see the title, or one where you can see more details, like the, little, the, the progress and other variables you've asked to show. Often, it's best to look at this level first and then to expand it as you need it. So that is how to use the grid and the card view in Smartsheet.